How many horses have you got here? We've got 45 horses. 45. And what, a lot of two-year-olds? Is that your... Or? We've got a basically half and half. We've been a, a split of older horses and, um, and two-year-olds. Um, you know, we've done very well with, with sort of, I've had some very good two-year-olds. Um, people like horses like Robin and Navan, who's a very good horse, and, yeah. he, and he progressed to be a good horse and won a group one for us at three as well. So we sort of have a, a, a mixture, basically, yeah. And um, the filly here that we're interested in, British Racing Club, uh, which we've got a name, by the way, we need to work out how we're okay. going to do that. Um, so she's been with you a couple of weeks? She's literally been here a couple of weeks. She's been in pre-training. Uh, the pre-trainer had a, a sort of small little ring uh, and basically got her going and, and, and doing her stuff and just basically breaking her to get her going. Um, and we've now just introduced her to a proper gallop. Um, she's a filly that has a lot of pace in her pedigree. She's by Garswood, who was a, who was a pretty good horse from Richard Fahey. Uh, he's a first season sire, um, who obviously we, we, we don't know, but the vibes are very good. A okay. lot of trainers are saying they, they, they look okay. And I think more importantly with this filly, she looks a well, she's certainly bred to be is a sort of early two-year-old, which, yeah. which could give some give some fun for the club. Well, that I mean, the two things I got excited about was one is that you think that she um, could be out early, you know, relative to the season, May time. Do you think? End of yeah, May? I think definitely, absolutely. Two months or something? Yeah. Or? Two, two, absolutely, two-year-olds change so quickly, yeah. uh, and I think more importantly, she's bred to do that, um, and you know, a lot of it will be education and, and general just general progression so yeah potentially why not and um and speed which is what i was talking about to the to, on the on our members dashboard about it was that she's bred for speed isn't she so absolutely um hard let me get it right i think garswood is by dutch art sprinter yep. sprinter and her mother is by acclamation who again was a very good sprinter yep. um so yes you know on pedigree she should and i think when you look at her physically i don't know if you can see when, when you're looking at the film that she has a sort of big bottom, a, a big good depth to her, and she looks like a horse that has some speed. Where you see sort of more staying horses, they will be longer um, and almost more, you know, not so butty, if you like to say. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, yeah. And um, uh, yes, we don't want her to get any longer, do we? No, <laughs> we, no. Um, but a big bum is what we want, basically. Exactly, exactly. And then, when have you put her through the stalls yet? When does all that sort of the race, the preparation for going racing, sort of thing? We we just walked her through the stalls purely for education, and, and we just get them just to look at it. We're not sort of asking to jump out of them, yeah. but just to just to learn and see what they're like, and obviously realise that they're not scary. Yeah. Um, and we really progress over the weeks coming, and uh, and it's very important, that, especially when you're doing starting stalls, that. The horses are in full work. You don't want them too fresh and, and things like that because you want them to concentrate and behave themselves because it's such an integral part of, of flat racing. Yeah, they have to behave themselves. Yeah. And again, if she's going to be a sprinter, she's got to come out of them quick. So, you know, more practice, the better. Perfect. And then, um, really, one last thing really is about, the, is, is about going racing and presumably five furlong and six furlong races are the first ones that come along anyway in the race in the race book aren't they and that's yeah. what we're going to be looking at presumably is it? Uh, absolutely the two do you think turf sorry or, yeah. or do you think you know what, what? i think um i mean turf certainly would, 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 would be a nice place i mean i think of course the all weather ha holds a place yeah. and it has a, it's a major part of our racing program now but i think everybody enjoys sort of going to a salisbury or a windsor um and it would be fun certainly for a club horse to go to to races like that really absolutely but do you have work days or, or work, you know, i get confused work with jump trainers Tuesdays and flat trainers and Tuesdays and Fridays. so Tuesdays yeah. and Fridays is work days yeah. um and you do up do you do up put, put these absolutely. upside, upside. Yeah. exactly yeah. 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 um and then Sundays do they come out their box at all not really no, no. generally unless they come to yeah. or training day or whatever generally 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 not there you're going to do the going to do your usual the far side just be careful it's a little bit wet bit here so much education. It is a lot of education. I think it's even more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah, 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 yeah. coming out of But I think you find those progress very quickly, especially like her little little word type. Yeah, they're, they're not as bad. They find. I think we find with some of the middle distance times, there was that little more backward, it takes a long while for them to be able to drop back into much more forward. 